Year one is done of the Husky period, and the overall view of its inception was that... I think it went really well. I, I think uh, structurally it was pretty sound. Um, we've revised some things this year that we think will make it better, but that's to be expected. Um, I think uh, the teachers embraced it, and some were a little nervous about how the time would be used and what would be expected of them, but I think if you, I think we did ask the majority of them, vast majority of them, you know, want that time and really see the value of the time. One of those students in particular is Lauren Masuda. I usually um, go to the media center to do homework and studying. She finds the media center the best place to spend her Husky period. Uh, it, it's very um, comforting and sit around in these comfy chairs. And, and Lauren has plenty of company during the Husky period. As of the first week of school, 350 students have used the media center during Husky period. And with numbers like that, who can question its usefulness? However, people are asking if it went so well, why of the changes? Well, the first year of a program, what you do is you kind of set your basic bottom guidelines of what you want to do. Now what we want to do is we want to tweak and refine those things that we're doing. The tweaking area is coming in with enrichment. How can we step up that enrichment piece, not just for AP, but perhaps this year for more of the honors courses? And for those kids with a lot going on, it is safe to say that the Husky period is here to stay. But I, I've had students say, I would not do as well if I didn't have the Husky period. Other students said, I don't think I would be getting the kinds of grades I'm getting right now. And that grade point average is solid. We're doing a great job. And I think that has a lot to do with the fact that we offer that time for students to schedule what they have to do independently. And that's important, because that's a, lot, a, a big lesson in life. How do you spend your time? How do you invest it? Are you investing it wisely? If you are, you're going to be a success in life. And that's what it's all about. Brett Hall for WPAC 17 in the Patterson Press.